What's your thoughts on uh, Ryan Carter and what he did to your team in 2017? Ryan was the man, yeah. one of the best one-liners ever. I can't remember who was it, but um, he had his first assignment to the jungle in a while, <laughs> the Iowa Wilds. And uh, we had our first road trip. We were traveling from Des Moines, Iowa to Chicago. And I think he thought we were stopping at the airport for a private. Uh, so we passed the Des Moines airport. And someone was like, no, Ryan, we, we keep going on the bus here. We've got five more hours to get dialed in. He's like, oh, OK. Card game. Keep the card game going. How, how hard, tough has it been lately with all the injuries? Yeah, no, that's a great question. Um, anyone goes through, everyone's going to go through injuries. And, you know, you, you live with it. You know, now we're into that five of our top seven or eight out. I don't care who you are. Um, Colorado, we played Boston the other day, maybe arguably the best lineup in the league. Anyone went through that, they'd be in, in for one. But with that said, huge credit to our depth. This is still a very competitive roster. Um, we're going to attack the game. I like what our lineup looks like. Uh, everyone maybe in these situations do a little bit extra, manage your game a little bit better. But I know last year they were in this situation. The last three, four, five of their top forwards, they had no chance. We have a good team right now. And uh, I'm actually excited to see how we handle this tonight. First time it looks like you're not going, it's not the Goalie rotation going to Billy? Yeah, going back with Billy, not a whole lot to it. Just kind of a feel. Um, you know, both goalie performances last time out, you know, probably not where either one wanted to be. So um, just uh, maybe that's even why we went off the, uh, the pattern. So you know, we're going Billy tonight, and I, you know, we'll talk with the staff, but I'd expect to see Neto on Monday. What does Giovanni Smith bring to this team? Hopefully some energy, um, uh, some size, some physical, um, which you know we lack a little bit. And unfortunately, our two most recent injuries and suspensions are two heavies for us in Sunquist and Rasmus. And so he complements what we don't have. And obviously, we're playing a team that's fairly heavy tonight. Uh, even with them having Greenway out, they still play a pos puck possession heavy game. So. I think you know. Hopefully, Giovanni gives us some of that tonight. Is this the game where you get uh, Osterley in? Yep, Osterley will be in tonight. And and again, same thing. We've actually been really happy with Lindy and what he's given us. And part of Osterley not getting in the first seven was how solid our decor's been. So, you know, probably more of uh, just not having uh, Osterley sit. Um, a big part of our team, big part of our room. We want to keep him involved. I know you mentioned the other day how tough that can be, and there's no great time like that. But there are guys who have made a living in this league being on that fringe, being able to come. What makes a guy like that? Like, what are the when you have those guys that can go in and out and not play, but then after two weeks play solid 12, 13? Like, yeah. what makes those guys mentally strong, accepting their role, good teammate? Um, not easy to do. And he's someone that uh, can do that. He's got some experience with that in his career and why we think he's a valuable part of our team and why he's in tonight. You mentioned this with um, Lucas Raymond specifically the other day, but having to get some of your forwards going, like a Lucas Raymond, Philip yeah. Zadina, Andrew Cobb, and just what's your message to them and how, how important is it to get them going here, especially when you're down so many well, to Play the right way, details. When they, they played it, all three of those guys had a pretty good game the other night, especially five on five. Uh, they were involved offensively. So those guys, they press a little bit because the offense isn't there. Now they start to lack some detail in their game. And now they find themselves in trouble spending more zone time because they're looping. They're hoping, maybe poaching a little bit instead of doing the right thing. Continue to do the right thing. Um, and I, even with this line, I, we're not we're not going to win six two, uh, but we're, we can lose six two. It's more about keeping it out of our net with where our lineup is right now, and that'll be the message of those guys too. And they did that the other night. It was a good step forward. So you like where they're at, even? Yes. Well, the last game, I think all three had a good last game. All three a little frustrated because they probably felt they could have scored. A couple of their chances could have went to the back of the net. So there's a little frustration there. But they got those chances, which is a good sign.
Back to what you just said about keeping the puck out of your net. I know that was a big focus coming in, tightening things up defensively and keeping pucks out of your net. But 11 in the last couple of games, what are your concerns defensively or what are you seeing? Yeah, two different games. Not sustainable. Uh, those first seven games, I don't know where we were. I, I can't give you an exact, uh, excuse me, those first five games where we went 3 0 2. I don't know exactly where our goals against was, but I'm sure it was pretty darn good. Probably in the twos, maybe a little threes. I don't know. But. Yeah, five and a half in a game, so only two games. But they're two different games. We had one game where our five-on-five five play was not very good against New Jersey and gave up six. And then the other night, our five-on-five five game was actually excellent. Um, but we, we lost a special team. So you got to have it hitting on all cylinders, and both games we did not. And we got what we deserved. Not sustainable. We're going to have to do a better job keeping the puck out of our net. And Robert was uh, saying that getting clears when you have the opportunity. Yes. Uh, is that a product of maybe some uh, youth in there? Or? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You saw. It. I mean, you, I know the play you're talking about. Like uh, one of our young forwards had two, um, maybe three turnovers on the same blue line before Boston's first goal went in, which is part of the experience. Um, league is faster, sticks are better. Um, that play has been cleared for his whole career. The other night it was not, and he learned. It's part of those growing pains. We're going to go through some young players, which is which is fine. How much uh, conversation do you or Steve have with the guys about how they play in Grand Rapids? Because you have guys who come up, and is are they? Is it something where you have any conversation with them? Is that only a Steve thing? I'm just curious. Yeah, a little bit. But no, I, I'll, we'll, we'll talk with Ben uh, too uh, uh, constantly. Ben's a friend. We had a relationship long before uh, me being here and him being in Grand Rapids. Get a feel. Sometimes it's fit. Um, and like for instance, you know, Smitty was the best fit physically. Uh, what we're looking for tonight, where Luff probably had more of the complete game. So, you know, it's predominantly Steve because I don't have the eyes on it. You know, he literally sees them every day. Sean Horkoff sees them every day. But there, there is a conversation that goes to it, and it can, it can come out in different ways sometimes. You talked a lot about quiet leadership. Um, how has that looked like over the last couple of days here, and during practice, during the games, um, as this team kind of? Good, good and growing though, and this is we we've hit it all. Like it was a pretty excited room at three zero and two, and then injury, injury, player out, injury, player out. We get smoked twice on the scoreboard. Challenge a little bit, different tone in there. You guys feel it too. This is where you need your leadership. Um, I, again, I'm ecstatic to see how we play tonight. We got a really good team coming in here. Uh, we're depleted, but again. Uh, I'm more excited to see how we can handle this. Uh, great challenge for us. Just uh, pre scout in the Ottawa Wild game the other day, like you see Mason Shaw out there. Yeah. Um, how proud are you of just what he's overcome? And what are your memories from him that one year that he played one game for you? I love Mason. Um, unbelievable human being. Um, the guy you, you root for, he's a throwback. He plays the one game, probably shouldn't have played him. You probably don't remember the whole dynamic to it, but he came off an ACL way too early and he comes out there and he just hits everything in sight um, but the time I remember most about Mace is him around the room uh, when he wasn't playing and I mean he was he cares about the guys his arms around someone all the time on the bus in the locker room he's just he's one of those guys you just gravitate to so I know he's fought through some injuries but that's a kid, even though what little time I spent with him, I had a really good feel what he's about, and I root for that kid. So this is exciting for him, uh, happy for him.